feeling very anxiety ridden. What are we gonna do with our lives? What is our future? Because it looks like it's never gonna be the same again. Things have categorically changed. So we have to readjust our attitudes about things. Certain people are equipped to be able to do that. Certain people inherently have had the opportunity to, to do that most of their lives or it's within the history of their subculture in America. But there is a faction in America that has never had to change in the 200 some odd history of the Declaration of Independence and the 200 years before that when the, the continent was first colonized. Nothing has really had to change. People here have made peace with the past. People here, people here, people here have made peace with the past. Skilled industries, skilled people. Clean industries, clean people. Quality people in quality jobs, earning quality income. Buy quality merchandise. People here live and work in splendid harmony. Harmony and respect. Hospitals, research laboratories, most of them supported by private funds, have pioneered many of the medical miracles of our time. A beautiful dream, yes. A magnificent merchandising idea. I think we should take care of the lesser income people, but I don't think, I think we're spending a lot of money and there's have to be some cutbacks, but maybe not health care. Where do you think we should cut? That's a good question. I wish I knew the answer. I'd probably be running for president. I want to make a point on the president's point about the economy and public health. I understand what the president is saying. This is unsustainable that we close down the economy and we continue to spend money. That, there is no doubt about that. No one is going to argue about that. But if you ask the American people to choose between public health and the economy, then it's no contest. No American is going to say, accelerate the economy at the cost of human life. Because no American is going to say how much a life is worth. Job one has to be save lives.